right now on the 10 o'clock news. President Biden signing an executive order today on artificial intelligence. The goal to maximize its benefits while reducing its risks. Fox 5's Teresa Priolo breaks it all down. It's already happening. AI devices are being used to deceive people. Deep fakes. Use AI generated audio and video to smear reputations, speak for spreads fake news, and commit fraud. AI, it's been described as a blessing, a curse, and an existential threat to mankind. It's why the President of the United States has summoned the power of the executive branch to help regulate what many see as a runaway train. That should be controlled because AI is something that could possibly get out of hand. I don't really have faith in the government to make ethical decisions, but. In general, I do think regulation is a good thing. That regulation includes establishing guardrails for the use of AI, while also attempting to encourage growth and innovation. It's a fine line, and no one's sure where the line actually is. It should encourage businesses and companies that are developing AI to do, uh, to follow laws that are in existence and be aware of the unintentional consequences of what they're coding into AI when they're creating uh, new algorithms or creating new uses for generative AI. Biden's framework builds on the existing commitments made by tech companies. It requires private companies to share internal safety assessments. It aims to protect consumer privacy and health care and your civil rights and housing by avoiding algorithms that help further housing discrimination. It also addresses the use of AI in the labor market. Figuring out how to code in into a logic program, essentially, how not to discriminate is a very big challenge. It needs to be legislated. Sweeping reforms aimed at getting ahead of the tech that's changing our world faster than we even realize. It's also a way to course correct after failing to address or regulate the pitfalls of social media. In some cases, the president wants this work to start within the next 90 days. In Montclair, New Jersey, Teresa Priolo, Fox 5 News.